Uh, dear distinguished uh, guests, uh, colleagues and friends, so first of all, um, I would like to thank uh, Ulo Langel and Jaak Erb for organizing this, this event. Uh, they dedicated to um, uh, one of the uh, most prominent uh, Estonian researchers abroad. So um, uh, my topic will be uh, not to talk about, uh, about research, I will talk about, uh, briefly about Viktor Mutt, a uh, little bit about history, although I'm not good at history, because I am a uh, national scientist, I am humble biochemist, or was used to be hum humble biochemist. But uh, I do have my own uh, personal experience with uh, Victor Mutt, uh, both directly and, and indirectly, and in fact I uh, did my PhD studies, uh, my PhD studies uh, were uh, basically focused entirely on one particular peptide, which is called galanin. So and that was uh, what, uh, which was um, the peptide was um, uh, isolated um, uh, by Victor Mutt. So, um, but um, uh, before going to, um, uh, uh, well, my title is prominent Estonian scientists abroad, Victor Mutt. Before going to um, the topic, so if we ask, ask the question, how many prominent uh, researchers are there around, uh, well, in Estonia or particularly abroad, then um, well, the simple answer is probably not too many, because uh, well, Estonia uh, is, not, is not a big country, because Estonia is uh, uh, not a small country, Estonia is a very small country. So, um, and uh, if we look at, um, look at numbers today, how many uh, Estonian scientists are there, both in Estonia and also in, uh, well, uh, uh, around, then um, uh, the number is uh, roughly 5,000. And, uh, uh, some 20, uh, 30, 200 of those work in public sector, universities, research, public research instit institutions, and um, uh, 1,800 in private sector. So, and I also have um, here, I listed up number of PhD uh, uh, um, students, because well, I am working at the university, and uh, uh, sustainability of Estonian research in terms of um, uh, PhD students is uh, today is a huge challenge, because uh, uh, PhD studies are unfortunately, for some, well, several reasons, not uh, too popular in Estonia, and we are facing actually a um, uh, decline in um, uh, number of uh, PhD defenses, and uh, this also is not good for our country. So we have uh, some uh, a little more than 2,000 PhD stu students today, and roughly 250 uh, defenses a year. Uh, the goal or um, uh, well, uh, the yeah, goal set by the government is uh, uh, 300 by year, but this is uh, uh, still a goal. But now um, uh, the president of uh, uh, our Academy of Sciences, Tarmo Sommer, al already mentioned some um, prominent Estonian scientists abroad. So I have also listed those up. Uh, Tarmo uh, mentioned Ernst Topic, um, who is an astronomer and uh, astrophysicist, was. He was at uh, Northern Ireland, if, if, I, uh, if, if I recall correct. Then uh, Tarmo also mentioned already Ugi reaction. So Ivar uh, Ugi was a well-known organic uh, chemist in Germany. And um, uh, this Ugi reaction, or organic chemists probably know Ugi reaction, which is a um, multi-component uh, uh, reaction, um, which is named after, uh, after him. Then uh, well-known physicist uh, Indrek Martinson, who was um, uh, in Lund, uh, in Sweden, Endel Tulving, experimental psychologist uh, in Canada, Rein Tagebera, who is um, uh, today in, uh, in, in, in Tartu, a political scientist, and there are more. But um, uh, once again, uh, when, when I um, uh, asked the question, how many are there around? Well, there are more, but uh, not too many, because we are Estonia is, is so small. But now uh, coming to uh, Victor Mutt. Uh, he's, um, well, Victor Mutt by himself is probably not so well known in Estonia, but um, uh, his, uh, his uh, nephew is very, very well known in Estonia, uh, uh, who is a uh, very um, uh, well known writer, uh, Michael Mutt. And uh, uh, I heard from Ulo that he will also join us uh, um, later today. So Victor uh, was born in uh, uh, 1923, that was time when Estonia had. Uh, five years after when Estonia had um, uh, become an independent country, uh, that was 1918. And uh, actually first uh, years of um, his uh, old childhood, Victor spent in, uh, in America, in the United States. 
because his father, also Victor, but not Victor who is K, Victor who is C, was um, a student and diplomat uh, in, uh, in New York, and uh, he was also general uh, consul of, uh, uh, of the Republic of Estonia. So um, uh, when they moved back to Estonia uh, in, uh, in late uh, 30, then um, Victor started in school in Estonia and actually he finished high school in, in Tartu, 1943. That was time when the uh, Second World War was already um, uh, going on. And actually Victor's father, Victor C, had already been, uh, well, was um, uh, detained, arrested by uh, uh, NKVD, a uh, predecessor of um, uh, KGB, and he was um, uh, well basically executed or killed in, uh, in uh, Russia. So in, uh, if, I, if I'm correct, uh, that was in early 40s. So when Victor uh, graduated, uh, uh, finished his high school, then he uh, fled to Finland uh, under uh, <coughs> dramatic circumstances and then uh, continued to Sweden. Uh, well, I'm not sure if it's correct, 1944 and 1943, there are different numbers, uh, but uh, it doesn't matter. That was, um, uh, well, war was going on, Second World War was going on, and um, in order to um, uh, uh, avoid to be taken into Red Army, he uh, was able to escape or fled, uh, uh, flee uh, uh, Estonia and then um, ended up in, in Sweden. So, and um, his entire professional career was uh, in Sweden. He graduated uh, um, uh, at uh, Karolinska Institute in, in medicine. Um, and then later in 1949, he defended his uh, doctoral thesis at Karolinska, or basically he stayed the full uh, life at, at Karolinska. Uh, 1950, he, he became a docent. Uh, 1970, he became associate professor and also head of the uh, laboratory. And uh, uh, 1979, he, uh, nine, he became full professor in biochemistry. Um, well, he retired in uh, 1989, but still continued um, uh, almost, yeah, well, almost for, te for 10 years until he passed away, uh, or basically in, uh, in the laboratory, having his white coat on uh, and uh, doing uh, work uh, uh, at, at Karolinska Institute. So and now, uh, what, uh, uh, what he was doing? Well, uh, uh, I'm sure many or most of us know that he was working on uh, peptides. So um, uh, he defended his uh, PhD uh, thesis uh, on purification of secretin, uh, first peptide. And then um, his career actually um, was, I mean, his full career was about peptides. So he uh, discovered or was um, uh, well involved in, in discovery of over 50 uh, biologically active peptides. Well, that's a huge number. And, and um, uh, I mean, at that, I mean, that time, peptides were uh, not, uh, well, their functions, actions were not, uh, of course, very well known. But uh, today we were here lot more uh, about, uh, uh, about peptides and also about uh, uh, neuropeptides. So, uh, peptides, peptides, peptides. Here is some list of um, the peptides um, uh, uh, Victor uh, has been working with, uh, uh, with secretines. Uh, well, I will not read this, all, all these peptides up. Uh, there is also uh, uh, the last peptide name is galanine. Um, I myself um, uh, did my PhD studies under the supervision of Professor Tamas Partvai, who is um, with us here today, and will talk, uh, who will talk more about, um, uh, about Kalanin and, and other peptides um, uh, as well. So um, Kalanin was, uh, uh, if now, I'm not good at history, but I'm trying to um, recall, I think Kalanin was first published in 1982. <laughs> Um, by Tatemoto and, uh, and, and uh, Mut, and then a um, uh, few years later, Galanina Sidin uh, was, uh, was cloned. So, uh, about uh, some recognitions. Uh, uh, so, Victor uh, was a member of uh, Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. He was a foreign associate of the American National Academy of Sciences. Um, he uh, uh, is honorary doctor of the University of Tartu, although he has uh, not been working in uh, uh, Tartu University, but he's, uh, well, Tartu is a kind of hometown uh, for him where he um, uh, finished his uh, high school. Um, he has received uh, well, several and also major European awards and also in the United States. Uh, he has uh, uh, received uh, uh, very prestigious uh, awards. 
And um, last but not least, has, she has been nominated for the Nobel Prize, although uh, not uh, uh, obtained the uh, prize. But um, uh, uh, being uh, nominated for a uh, Nobel Prize is, uh, uh, is definitely uh, very prestigious. And uh, well, once again, uh, thinking how many Estonians or Estonian scientists have been uh, research have been nominated for Nobel Prize. So probably only a few. So. Um, um, I will now, and then, uh, well, uh, to finish, um, I want to start with my uh, short um, talk. I, I mentioned that I, uh, yes, I do have uh, uh, my own personal experience or uh, with contact with uh, Victor Mutt and also well, direct and in indirect. I mentioned about um, the galanin peptide, which was discovered, isolated by, by Victor. And uh, now when I go back to um, uh, 1989, uh, November 7th, so uh, that was uh, when I first time uh, visited or was able to, that was still Soviet time, here, here in Estonia everything was quite different here and I was, um, uh, well thanks to Ulo and, and Tamas, I was uh, uh, able or somehow invited to um, uh, go to Tamas lab in, uh, at Stockholm University, then uh, somehow Ulo had um, uh, well, organized or um, uh, with Victor that uh, I could stay the f basically one month, a little, little bit more than one month in um, the guest room of uh, Karolinska Institute in the lab of uh, Victor. So I remember first when I uh, uh, went to Stockholm and went to, um, uh, well, I took a ferry to Stockholm from Helsinki, because there were no ferries from Tallinn to Helsinki, no, uh, no, no uh, uh, flights either. And um, we went to Karolinska Institute and of course first uh, person I met was Victor. He was around everywhere. He had his white coat uh, on and uh, he was going around um, and um, uh, that was my, my very first uh, contact in Sweden, Stockholm, when I first went to Stockholm. So and then I came, went to the uh, Tamas lab and then met Tamas. So, um, um, uh, so once um, again, I, um, uh, I would like to thank Ulo and, and, and Jaak for organizing this event. And um, uh, it's uh, really great that both Tamas and Thomas Höckfeldt are here today. Uh, we'll uh, talk about um, uh, work uh, related to um, uh, Victor Mutt. And I wish you all a nice seminar, nice conference and uh, fruitful discussions. Thank you.